today. Um, this video is really sad for me because for the majority of you this is the end and you'll all unsubscribe from my channel and you'll stop watching my videos and I consider each of you individually my students and to see you all leaving is happy sad because you're going off to do great things but you won't come back and tell me stuff anymore so this is this is a happy sad day for me um please just go and watch my number of subscribers fall dramatically and it's not about the numbers it's about you're leaving and i'm sad this is kind of like yeah i am i am your teacher um but before you go i do have some bits of advice for you are going to be a bit different to the advice I normally give you which is about schools and exams this is advice about life and if you've ignored everything else I've ever said about exams please pay attention to what I'm saying in this video I don't know how many bits of advice this is been really, I'm just literally going to be waffling my first big bit of advice is to use condoms they are really really good ideas not just for preventing pregnancy but they also prevent lots of other nasty things as well and if you don't want pus oozing out of places that you shouldn't have pus oozing out of please use a condom it doesn't matter which hole things are going into condoms are a good idea no matter what type of sex you are having please use a condom they prevent lots of different types of cancers they prevent lots of different types of infectious diseases please use a condom and while we're on the topic of sex sex should be enjoyable if you are having sex with somebody and it is not enjoyable or the person you are having sex with does not appear to be enjoying it then please stop and reconsider what you are doing can you change things up a little bit to make it a bit more enjoyable do you really want to be having sex with this person if you are having sex with this person and it would be much more enjoyable and you would feel much more comfortable if there was a condom involved then please do that to make the sex more enjoyable if you are in a situation where you don't feel that you can ask somebody to use a condom or you are having sex and it is not very enjoyable then please reconsider the person that you are having sex with this might not be the right person for you to be doing it with please make sure that you are using condom that you are having the sex legally that you are enjoying it and that the other person is enjoying it and if any of those things aren't right aren't in place and you don't feel comfortable with what's happening then please reconsider the choices that you have made to get you to this point is it the wrong person that you're doing it with is it the wrong things that you are doing please just make some sensible choices now i say this every year and everyone's going like, oh my god i can't believe she said that but it is an important thing that needs to be said um so wear a condom other things you really should be wearing moisturizer is another really really good thing for you to be wearing doesn't matter what your gender is moisturize twice a day at your age it doesn't need to be the expensive stuff just go down to aldi and get that own brand face moisturizer which i don't know how much i cost but it doesn't need to be the expensive stuff if you get into the habit of moisturizing twice a day in 30 years time in 40 years time when you do have to buy the expensive moisturizers you will thank yourself because you will look younger than your friends because you've got into the habit of moisturizing twice a day it is a good idea um sunscreen is another really good thing for you to be wearing not only will it prevent various different types of cancers skin cancers um but it will make you look younger when you're older or make you not look so old early on wear sunscreen as well as moisturizer just get into the habit of applying it i was out yesterday and you can see that i've definitely caught the sun a little bit but i didn't do too badly only a little bit on my arms go clubbing and trainers oh this is something that i wish i'd done when i was at uni like I wore absolutely ridiculous six inch stilettos to go clubbing in and it's not a clever idea, just wear trainers. It's much, much more comfortable. You're gonna have so much more fun dancing um, in trainers because your feet won't hurt like crazy, crazy in the morning. Um, and after you come back from a night out, just some water is a really, really good idea. Uh, call people, talk to people, making actual real life connections is really important. Um, that person who's just standing there by themselves 
go and talk to them. If there's someone you fancy, go and ask them out. Uh, my husband, I asked him out and now we've been married for a really long time. Um, do I think he would have asked me out? Uh, I don't know actually, I would have to ask him that, but I asked him out um, and he said yes and now we're married and we have kids. So everything worked out really well. So if there is somebody you're interested in, just take a chance. You never know. You never know, it might work out for the best and if it doesn't, well, it didn't work out. That's okay. Um, learn to say no to things. I am awful at this. If somebody emails me and said, do you want to work on this project? I'll go, oh, yes, okay. And then I'll go, oh, I really wish I hadn't said yes to that project. It is okay to say no to stuff that you don't want to do. Um, I'm not talking about things like, you know, picking your clothes up off the floor because everyone just has to do that. But it is okay to say no to stuff. You don't have to do all of the projects that you don't want to do. You don't have to go out every single night with your friends. You don't have to try crazy things. It is okay to say no to stuff. Read books. They are good for not only opening up different types of opinions, but different countries, different places, different experiences. Travel to places you've never been before. Even if it's literally just getting on the bus and going to the end of the bus line. You don't know what's there. It might be really cool. Go into restaurants and order food you can't pronounce because you might really, really like it. And you will never know if you keep going and ordering the same stuff over and over again. Try different things that are a little bit scary and you're not sure about. I think that's it. What have you got? Wear condoms. Make sure sex is enjoyable. Wear moisturiser. Wear sunscreen. Uh, wear trainers out clubbing. Say no to stuff. Drink water. Read books. Order food off menus you can't pronounce. Um, anyway guys, it's been a real journey. Uh, if you are sticking around, then there's a lot more coming. If you're not, then I really, really hope you enjoy your life and everything is good and happy for you. Um, Bye guys.